Thank you, Chief. Good afternoon. We're all cognizant of the fact that today is Good Friday, a day of mourning for Christians the world over, as believers reflect on the ultimate sacrifice made for mankind. This is a Good Friday much different than any of us have experienced. If today is Good Friday, then Sunday is Easter, a day of celebration which follows a day of mourning. We know that Jesus was in Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover when he was crucified. That Jewish festival commemorates a people's liberation from bondage and the realization of Yahweh's covenant with Abraham that his descendants would make their rightful home in a land that flowed with milk and honey. We are being instructed to remain at home rather than attend services at houses of worship. While we will not join with others in joyous praise, we can still hear the Easter message, a story of promise which emboldens us at this time of year. We should, this weekend, take time and remember those who have passed and their families who could not be consoled by friends and loved ones or properly share and publicly express their grief. I would ask that each of us also consider the monumental sacrifices our first responders and healthcare professionals have made over the course of the last month and will continue to make in the coming weeks. These people, heroes all, have consciously placed themselves in harm's way to protect us and to care for our brothers and sisters who have fallen ill, including the 66 residents of Doherty County who have lost their lives. This community has been devastated many times by floods, tornadoes, by a hurricane, and now a pandemic. We have always recovered, and we will overcome this virus like every other disaster which has befallen us. I cannot assure you things will be back to normal in two weeks or even two months. In the meantime, follow the instructions you have heard repeatedly. Stay at home, and when you must leave your residence, wear a face covering, practice social distancing, wash your hands, and return to your home as soon as your task is completed. The cause for Easter celebration is, of course, resurrection. Some of you will remember Easter falls on the first Sunday after the first full moon following the spring equinox. That is one of the two days each year when the time of light is equal to the time of darkness. It marks the beginning of spring, a time of transformation and renewal. The flowers bloom, the birds sing, and the crops are planted. The ancients observed the spring equinox as a triumph of light over darkness. Christians celebrate Easter as good prevailing over evil, life defeating death. Once this virus is no longer a scourge on our city, we will mourn those who we have lost. We will honor those who have sacrificed so much and we will as a community, be resurrected. God bless.